Hi guys, welcome back to this Wednesday. On the on Wednesday, I'm going to do Crystal Palace's team. We're going to start in goal. It's a 4-2-3-1, by the way, guys. In goal, we'll do Sam Johnson. Right back, we'll go with Nathan Ferguson. Two centre backs, we'll go with Anson Gurhi. Left back, we'll go with Mitchell. Uh, two centre mids, Garner and Decore. Not the Everton one, the one they got from Lens. Good sign in that one. And um, three centre mids, uh, three sort of attacking players. Right mid, it'll be Elise. Cam will be Eze. Left mid will be McNeil. And striker, it'll be Saha. If not, then like I say, Saha can be as a left mid. And then Mateta or Eduard will come in. More likely, I think, it'll be Mateta. Where do Palace last season really well? Really shocked everyone how they've finished. And Patrick Fieri, you've got to give a lot of credit to. Everyone was thinking, oh, he's going to get the first one to get sacked. Didn't get sacked. Got them into the semi final of the FA Cup as well. Unfortunately, they lost to Chelsea. But on the team of players I've got, like James Garner, I feel like it depends what's happening with United if they need, if they're going to buy a centre mid or things like that. I feel like if you're Tan Hagen, you think how Conor Gallagher did at Crystal Palace, he might be thinking, oh, I might do the same with James Gardner. I think that's a good way going forward. John Johnson, massive upgrade compared to Guaita and Butland. Gives them a little competition now. I think Butland might leave though, so then it just leaves with Guaita and Sam Johnson. Right back, it was hard choices. Like I say, I got Nathan Ferguson, Joel Ward, Nathaniel Klein. And even they've been linked with Juan Basaka. So it's, it was quite hard to choose. But I feel like Nathan Ferguson, he's was he a good young English player. He hasn't really uh, proven in the Premier yet because obviously he was injured for most of the season. They got him from uh, West Brom last season. So I think like he wants to improve, show that he can play in the Prem and that he wants to shine for a Crystal Palace. Um, and then so anything else, Eze, again, another player. Obviously, nearly got called up to the Euro team. Uh, not last season, but season was it last season? Yeah, last season, I think. Where I say that? Um, nearly got called up to the Euro team. Sadly, got injured. And then the following season, he obviously when you got that injury, it is going to be quite hard to take off. Uh, this season, he looks like he's going to be back to a normal self. I'm looking forward to see how he plays for Crystal Palace going forwards. And yeah, Dwight McNeil again. Paz have been linked with him. West Ham have been linked with him. But it's R and R and up in the air sort of thing. Um, depends. Obviously, they were linked with Flynn Downs. Obviously, he's gone to his boyhood team, like West uh, Ham. So, anyway, that's my team. Hope you all have a good Wednesday. And hope you please like and subscribe. And take care, guys. Peace.